All right, so head home from work today. Now I'm always looking for video ideas and it occurred to me that I spend like 20 hours a week driving back and forth to work. And uh, you know, I've been running around the timber and woods and doing this kind of stuff for, for quite a few years now. So I thought, well, what if I took a few minutes there and uh, shared with you guys a, a story or a happening or, you know, something that, you know, something I felt is interesting, you know, that happened to me over the years. Kind of kill the time. So anyway, that's what we're going to do today. Uh, I'm going to tell you all the story of my most memorable coon hunt. Um, so if you guys like this type of video, do me a favor. Uh, let me know in the comment section or hit that thumbs up. That way I don't make a whole bunch of these where I'm just sitting there talking to myself. All right, so my most memorable coon hunt. Now, I've I've had the opportunity to hunt with a lot of dogs, uh, a lot of different dogs and, and everything else. But, but this particular story involves the rebel dog, uh, which, you know, it's kind of the, the dog that for you have been around for a lot of years. Uh, you guys kind of kind of saw a lot of him, right? He was he was the dog I had, you know, during my, my YouTube times, basically. And uh, many of you guys know he kind of he passed on there earlier this spring, so he's not with us no more. But man, had a lot of great memories with him. So anyway, this story takes place. This would have been somewhere in like 2009 2010 2011-ish it was the first full year that i that i ran him uh so i trained trained him up all summer got him pretty comfortable uh it wasn't the first hunt that i'd take him on but it, we hadn't we hadn't been on many hunts uh so anyway went hunting one night just me and him went down in these these big bottoms these big bottoms down the so we went down to these big bottoms, bunch of bunch of old growth timber, you know, big sycamores and and things like that. And this was a, a a bottom ground that always flooded out, so it was always wet, but it always held real good coons, you know, down in the bottoms there. Cut him loose, dog run off, and uh, I don't know, he was going on know, eight ten minutes or so, and all of a sudden he treated. And uh, so I, I've always run. I always ran GPS collars uh, with him, you know. Before before GPS, it was just hope and pray, you know. You could hear the dog or find him or everything else. But I, I always ran GPS collars on, on Rebel Dog. So looked at GPS, and I, I don't know, he's several hundred yards away, you know, 400 yards or something out. So I start walking down through the timber. I finally get to him, and he's on the edge of this creek here in this bottom ground. And he's treed in this giant, giant sycamore, big, big fork sycamore at an angle. And a tree, <laughs> he wasn't at the bottom of the tree. That dog had climbed up the tree and I, he had to have been 20, 25 foot up in this tree. And he chased that coon up there. And the coon, I could see the coon whenever I got up there. The coon was at the very top of the tree and he couldn't quite get to it dog was sitting kind of at the fork of a tree and uh, the coon was up ahead of about 15 feet but he was in a position where he's gonna jump trees so I get there and I'm like oh crap what the, you know I, I've had dogs climb before and it's it's never good and I'm like man what am I gonna do I you know a lot of times whenever it's happened you just can't go after and get them right uh, I mean it just it's easy for a dog to go up a tree and it's hard for him to come back down you know it just seems like so I'm sitting there looking. I can see that coon's probably going to go to the next tree. And I'm like, well, we'll just wait a little bit. If it coon goes to the next tree, maybe he'll, he'll, you know, lose interest in that and think more about how to get down. So we wait around. It seemed like forever. And sure enough, that coon kind of scurried off. I'm down low by now. I'm clearing out all this, all the debris and saplings and everything. And I'm like, this dog going to fall out of this tree. I'm going to catch him. You know, goes on and on and on and finally I start looking up at the tree and you can always tell when them dogs they, they go up in tree and they're not thinking about anything but chasing that coon and then after a minute they, they start kind of looking around like well, what have I got myself into kind of thing you know so anyway I'm watching him and sure enough he kind of got to that point you know I'm down low and I'm thinking I, I just don't know what to do maybe I can 
whenever he, he falls, I mean, because you can just tell he wasn't going to be able to come back down the tree. It was just too steep. You know, maybe I like hold my arms and cradle him and go to my knees and kind of break the fall. Or I, you know, I'm going to lose this dog that I put all this work into all summer. He's going to fall out of a tree. So I didn't know what to think. Sure enough, man, about, I don't know, it seemed like 15, 20 minutes later. It may not have been that long. I'm standing underneath this tree and that dog goes to turn around and he falls. Now, mind you, we are in some soupy, soupy bottoms. I'm standing in probably, you know, six inches of water. And there's a good probably eight inches of mud underneath me, you know, just real nasty stuff. And whenever he spun and kicked off, he didn't fall straight down like I thought he would. So he kicked off like four foot away from the tree. You know, obviously it's dark, you know, so I mean, you're just all trying to shine it with the headlight. I'd lunge for the dog. I'm just trying to catch him, you know. And I kind of went to my knees as he come down to the ground. That dog is just, I mean, he's trying to run in midair, you know. He's falling, falling. And I remember I came down to my knees and I missed. I didn't catch him. But I was like, right, he was right ahead of me. And that dog hit the ground just as if he was laying on, I mean, just completely flat on the ground, just splat. And I would fall down, water hit me in mud, and I look up, I mean, as soon as I wipe the mud from my eyes and the light, I'm like, I'm gonna find this dog laying dead. It was so muddy and nasty and mucky, y'all. Whenever I, I, I looked at this dog, he had sunk into the mud. I, I, at least like 16 inches. It was like a perfect imprint. And I look up and he's got his head poked up and he's just laying there like, what just happened? And I'm sitting there and I'm soaking wet at this point. I get him up. He shakes off and looks. I'm like, he don't have no broken bones. No, I mean, he's not, not hobbled, nothing. Like, he's just perfect. Like, it is like a pillow caught this dog from falling like 25 foot in the ground i mean it was just i don't know it, it, it was amazing you know and like i said it's i was just me and him in the timber and got him all together i'm like you know we're done we're going home so i get him we start heading to the truck and get back to the truck and I, he's following me at this point i don't even have a leash on him and uh <laughs> We get back to the truck, get, I drop the tailgate, he just looks at me like, we're not done. And that dog takes off back in the timber, and I'm not kidding you, we treat a coon that night. <laughs> but, yeah, that was, hands down, of all the hunts that I've ever been on, that was probably, that was the most memorable coon hunt I've ever been on. And it was with the rebel dog, me and him, the dog fell from a tree. And i tell you what, and all the years that dog hunted, he never, ever climbed a tree ever again. <laughs> he only, he only, he only went after skunk one time too, but he never, ever climbed a tree again. So that, that was pretty cool. Uh, that, that's probably the most memorable hunt. It's something I'll never forget. Even just talking about it now, reminiscing, you know, like I said, that was, that was over a decade ago. But man, I mean, how lucky does everything just have to be to, make that happen and I don't know just something cool so anyway uh, if you enjoyed this video uh, do me a favor hit that thumbs up leave me a comment I definitely make more of these but I don't know that one just came to mind uh, my most memorable coon hunt so anyway I'm gonna sign off here get back to driving y'all but hey if you enjoyed this video let me know if you're new here consider subscribing as always I appreciate the view y'all See you on the next one.